In this quick SketchUp FAQ video, we're going to look at how to import a CAD file into SketchUp. A CAD file includes a DWG file and also a DXF file. So the first thing we do before importing into SketchUp is prepare our CAD file for import. Um, it's worth noting there are a few CAD elements that aren't supported in SketchUp. Um, so the first thing to do is uh, look at removing those elements from the CAD file in order to reduce your file size and if they're not necessary there's no point in them being there. Um, some of the files that aren't, uh, the elements that aren't supported are dimensions, hatching, text and xrefs. You can see in um, this OS map that I'm going to be importing into SketchUp there are some um, text and numbers on here that won't come through so I'm going to remove those. So I'm going to isolate the text layer. I'm going to select and delete all of those, unisolate the layer. And there's also this line here, which is like a boundary line, which I don't need in the SketchUp file. So I'm gonna um, remove that as well. And then once I've removed the elements I don't need, I'm gonna do a purge of the CAD file to remove any unwanted layers. Uh, the reason for doing this is layers, whether or not there's any content on them, will come across into the SketchUp model. So we want to remove those layers at this stage so that you don't get um, unwanted layers in the SketchUp model. So I'm going to just type purge. I'm going to type all for everything. And those, those additional layers have now been removed. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just confirm that my units are correct. Um, I'm going to go to format, units, and we can see here that we're in decimal. I'm going to change that to millimeters and click OK. And we want our units in the CAD file to correspond with the units of our SketchUp file. So the SketchUp file is also going to be in, in millimeters too. Um, the next thing we want to do is save the drawing. So we're going to do a save as. I'm going to call it OS map SketchUp import. And I'm going to change the file format. Um, to it's rec SketchUp recommends um, changing it to version R14. Um, I've done imports with numerous different versions, um, but for this purpose, I'm going to go with the recommendation of R14. And then I'm going to click Save. So now we are going to go over to our SketchUp file. I've already got a SketchUp, um, a simple basic SketchUp model open. There's nothing in it. Um, and I'm going to go to File import and you can see here um, I've already got my uh, CAD file ready there so I'm going to select that I've got the if, if your file is grayed out and you're unable to select it you can just pull this drop down menu and make sure you've got AutoCAD files selected select the file and I'm going to click on options and I'll do this twice I'll show you two different versions we've got the units correct and we're suggesting here that we preserve the drawing origin so I'm going to say OK and I'm going to import Okay, now as you can see, we can't see the file, so we're going to go to um, camera and zoom extends. And what you can see here is the drawing has um, imported, the cab drawing has imported quite a long distance away from the drawing origin. Now SketchUp recommends that you actually bring your imports in at the origin. reason for doing this is you can experience sort of performance issues when the drawing is imported a long way away from the origin. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to delete this and we'll go zoom back out again. I'll come back into the origin just so you can see what's going on. So we'll do file, import, Select it again, but this time I'm going to deselect preserve drawing origin, click import. You can see here that the file has now been brought in um, right at the origin, and therefore you shouldn't have any performance issues. And you can also see that all the layers are in place here as well. So that's a very quick, easy way showing you how to import a CAD file into SketchUp.